Tell us how you conceived Grey's Anatomy and how you pitched to the network and kind of how that all went. Out. The pitch. The pitch. Um, I really thought that it would be great to have a show that was about surgeons. I mean, I'm kind of a surgical junkie. I thought surgery was a little bit sexy. I watched the surgeries on the Learning Channel and call my sisters and talk about it. <laughs> and um, thought that there was something really interesting about the idea of, of watching people who really didn't know what they were doing. So on a bad day, you killed somebody. And on a good day, you really you know, saved a life. And there was something about the nature of competition and about strong women and about doctors who were not necessarily heroic all the time, because I think that's how we see surgeons, is they're heroic all the time, who are heroic maybe inside the OR, but outside the OR, they're absolutely human. It was interesting to me. Maureen O'Ryan of the Chicago Tribune called the cast a refreshing oasis of intriguing and nuanced characters. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about the casting process and when you were writing some of these characters, did you have particular actors in mind at all? Writing it, absolutely nobody in mind. Um, casting it was a dream because what was lovely was that you know I just wrote the characters and let them sort of do what I thought they would do and then to have these actors come in and read was unbelievable and what was lovely for me was just the idea that every single person you see cast here, every single member of this cast is exactly how they should be. There's none of that sort of <laughs> 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 there's, there's none of that sort of like crazy polite stuff where you're like, well, they're very nice people. No, they're exactly how the minute they started speaking the words, I thought, yeah, this is perfect. So that was really lovely. 